Hello, you are once more welcome to Real Madrid World. Today, I will be giving you reports on the quarterfinal played by Chelsea and Real Madrid. Please do so well to follow to the end. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe to my channel. And again, stay tuned for more Real Madrid updates. Well, guys, if Chelsea were wondering how they will exactly go out of the Champions League at the Bonabe, their manager actually summed it up with mostly sheerly clarity. We were unlucky, Thomas Tuchel began. We got beaten by pure individual quality, quality of conservation, and our mistakes. Two mistakes that you can't have against Real Madrid. We deserve to go through. Although some of his words were understandable, ungracious, to share thoughts on a few truths. They were not just truths of the night, but also the Champion League as a whole. Real Madrid have proven them more than anyone else. For all of the old European Cup gravities and prestige, it is competition where the best team only occasionally wins. Tuchel was right there, even if he was wrong about Chelsea being unlucky. They were sloppy by the end and made a few bad mistakes. The real difference was that Madrid had the player that could exploit that. They had the defense maker, namely Luka Modric and Kirin Benzema. It was all too fitting that their moments were not just inspired and influential, but were such signature intervention. For the first Madrid aggregate equalizer, Modric saw and somehow executed the most suitable pass. For the second, the winner Benzema plotted yet another perfect harder. Tuchel is known to have expressed this in private. The squad Chelsea have constructed futures at best a lot of potential. The German does not feel they have anyone that is yet a true difference maker, like Mohamed Salah and Kevin De Bruyne. Although it is possible that Kai Havertz could grow into that and Remulu Lukaku has been a disappointment. That is one reason he has gone for a more structured approach rather than a storming one. It is to make Chelsea difficult to beat since they have to work a bit harder to win games. The approach has mostly worked as illustrated by the chance of the club's traveling fans here. They were definitely insisting they would still sing about being European champions until May. The approach also probably leave them finishing ahead of his of this Madrid over the course of a league season. Chelsea have a better overall team and a far superior idea of football. That was why they dominated this second league. But this, of course, is not a league season. It is a knockout competition that has driven coaches as commanding as Pep Garagiola to the most profound frustration. It is a competition all the more to moment of individual inspiration because of the quality within it. Virtually complete performance can be undone in an instant by players capable of making the difference. Madrid have proven this more than anyone over the past decade and last night proved it as much as any other. There was no greater explanation to it really. It summed up one remaining flow in Chelsea and one greater virtue of the Champions League and Madrid. It wasn't really about Carlo and Chelsea genius. Ability to manage teams through such night should be acknowledged. Madrid didn't give in. They responded to come back with a comeback of their own and that meant their stars were ready to capitalize. It is a type of magic, all of its own, as Ancelotti reference. The Bernabe just came alive when Rodrigo slammed in Modric's cross. The Croatia divine inspiration didn't just produce a revival. If you want to continue the religious team, given the week that is in it, it created an expectation of salvation and ultimately sent the entire 
crowd into raptures. That only happens because of a genuine difference between clubs like this and Paris Saint Germain. The Bonabe may be under reconstruction, but everyone present knows the great history it has witnessed. And it means everyone believes they will see some more, no matter the score. This is all I have for you today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And again, stay tuned for more Real Madrid updates.